Okay, straight into Nollywood now. Skit comedians Lizzie J and Yemi Alesho join reality TV star turn actress Sasuke, GJ Awobona, and others for the new television sitcom Jolly Fellows, as directed by Bola Akombi. Our cameras went behind the director's camera to get a feel of what the new production is all about. Do enjoy. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Cool. Hey, it's mixed place for me. Quiet! Alright, action! <coughs> Alright, you know what you're going to do for me? Baby, I don't know if I can ever find the right words to describe how much I love you. Hey, you make life so beautiful for me. And I cannot imagine spending a day of my future without sharing it. So, Mom, please, will you be my wife? Say it again! Say it again! Say it! Did you mean so much to me? Yes. <laughs> It's definitely not easy to be honest, but I think um, the that scene was literally pretense to the love in the movie was pretense to so it kind of made it a little bit better. But even at that, you know, I had to show like, genuine love and it was quite a challenge, but I liked it. <laughs> this is my love. He thought he could scam me, but apparently she's a better me. scam. I know. Oh, I think Sasuke is a natural because, I mean, she absolutely made it easy. Stop blushing. <laughs> she made it easy. And, um, you know, the vibe with her is, is, it flows. So it was easy to, you know, bring it to life. And she's a wonderful actress as well. Okay, so on this, uh, on set of Jolly Fellow, I'm playing Billy Key. Billy Key is, is a one in town. Somebody you, you are... You must recognize. Hey, get me by. Blicky is a naughty local girl. She's um, stubborn, but at the same time, Blicky, I'll say that Blicky knows what she wants. Uh, she takes every opportunity to advantage. You understand? When somebody's like, oh, okay, ah, oh yeah, ah, sorry, that's the kind of person Blicky is. So regardless of her stubborn side, she has some good side also, and that makes her, you know. You can you, you cannot eat Billy Key, even though she's she's very very naughty and annoying, but you can't eat her. There's a place where uh, she's the typical local girl, and there's another where she's like you know. But to be honest, I think the only thing that changed about Billy Key in this um, in this series is. Just like you pouring an old wine into a new bottle. It, it, it doesn't change the taste of the wine or change who or what the wine or what the wine tastes like so that's the, the only thing is just the look and the thing nothing else change about Biliki. my name is Yemi Lesho and um, I'm playing the role of sheriff okay uh, when uh, I am doing the content uh, I see it as a content and when I'm uh, when I'm in a movie uh, location, movie space, I know, okay, this is movie. So the normal Bodano character that I play is different from Yemi Elesho. So this is Yemi Elesho here, and then, you know, acting has always been part of me. It is, um, let me say, this is what I studied in school. I know how to separate the two. So when it is needed, I go into the character of any character I want to play. And this is not my first series, uh, just that, you know, it's just quite different from content, you know. Content, you can shoot it for just like a week. It could be two, it could be three. But, you know, this is serious. This is almost um, the 18th day, like, we have spent here. It's kind of draining. <laughs> but then, you I mean, sometimes we shoot 20, 21, 15 scenes in a day, of which content, just two, three, we are done. So that's just the difference. But being an actor, it is expected. It's what we signed up for. <laughs> I know that well, one thing I love about the Jolly Fellows is um, the fact that we're telling a very sensitive story. We're educating people. Where it's a didactic one, but we're treating it in a mild way. You understand? It's a story of three characters who live in together: three youths, Paul, Sheriff, 
Uzo, the young chaps, well, uh, hustling, trying to survive, you understand? So, while living together, a lot of things happen. I don't want to say too much about this, so you guys, I want people to see it. But in all, it's a very didactic series that um, it touches every aspect of the society. Make I not ask important question again. Can you calm down? Okay, what do you make I do when she comes? Ma, just stand like Just watch. Ah, guys, please, please. No, I don't need this today, I beg. I'm on the set of Jolly Fellows, the series, and I'm playing the character Tamara. Tamara, I, when I got the script, and I saw Tamara, I was supposed to play the character Tamara. What actually intrigued me was the fact that she is a lover girl and also a no-nonsense girl. Someone who could actually be crazy and do anything for the one she loves, but at the same time, um, won't, won't um, like if you take it for granted. I like the fact that um, she she actually knows what she wants and at least sometimes she could get a little bit um should i call it um inferiority complex for she's good i feel every young girl should be confident in themselves no matter who um she is don't look down on yourself no matter who you think the next person is nobody's better than you nobody's better than yourself so it's how you portray yourself people's gonna see you so if you look less of yourself less about yourself people see you that way so whatever it is whoever you think just be confident wear it on like glow with it and people will actually appreciate you for that all right people from that uh, line again okay. so just the reaction to you bro let's go okay. i did the casting so I I had a conversation with them before we, we came on set and I said, okay, this is what you are known for. You know, you already created a brand and then this series, your character, is it, you know, there, is, there, there are a little bit of changes from who you are known for and what you are playing here. And this is what I expect of you. You know, the first few days of filming, it was quite challenging because most of them have not really embodied the character and you start start seeing, you know, some of the characters they are known for. So I had to like, you know, keep my eyes, you know, and be sure that they are doing it right. So at times when I notice that this character is trying to, you know, play it the other way, then I have a conversation with you and let you know that Paul, I need you to be to more feminine. Sheriff, I need you to speak like you actually went to school, you know. So it's just you knowing because I built the character, so it was easier for me to then let you know that this is not the character I'm seeing and this is how I wanted to play. So with you know one on one uh, conversations with them, it really helped them to you know get into the character. My love, cut it. Oh, <laughs>